What's up guys? This is Cole, Cole Minor Customs. Um, so we're going to actually give you a review. Um, this is going to be kind of part one of uh, probably several series of the M1 uh, laser engraving machine uh, by Xtool. Um, so the first video was kind of unboxing, uh, not really setting it up, but just kind of showing you what was in, in the box itself. But today we're actually going to go over some of the software and actually going to do some uh, engraving and maybe some uh, some etching and stuff like that. Uh, got a piece of sample wood and I'm going to show you the um, the software on the computer, um, show you some different settings and stuff. I have done a couple things, um, but just some test runs and some trial runs and stuff. But today we'll kind of get more in depth with it and kind of show you how this machine works. All right, so this is my setup. Of course, you got the machine, computer. Um, so on the back side here, um, the equipment that they send you um, with the uh, exhaust vent uh, hookup, uh, basically four screws uh, that you tighten up, hand tight, you don't even have to have a screwdriver. Hook your hose in here, run it out to uh, outside source. I just used a one by um, six, cut it to length inside the um, window and then cut a three inch um, hole out with a uh, hole saw um, or a circular saw and then of course I'll explain this while this is actually out this is actually a cutting tool uh, for the machine and the hose clamp you can use it or, if, if you want to or not it's it's really a snug fit on the back of this you really don't have to have it unless you just want to because the fans not creating enough um, power to actually blow it off so coming over here to the computer I have the, uh, the software um, for it, the X tool. It's just in a beta stage. Um, it's real simple. You know, you, once you download the, uh, the software, it comes um, like a QR code comes on there. You scan it, it tells you how to uh, download the um, software for it. Real simple uh, to download. Once you get it, you'll, you know, click on it, it'll pull up this screen. And then once you hook in a USB to the computer and hit search um, right up here in this corner, um, it will find the actual machine itself. Click on it. Um, there is a way to do it by Wi-Fi. I didn't do it. Um, you know, I've got good Wi-Fi, but I just I'm old-fashioned. I like a cord hooked into it because I don't have to worry about connection uh, issues. Once you turn the machine on, of course it's real simple. It's got the switch on the back back right here, you turn it on. Uh, it takes a minute to boot up. Um, once it boots up, it, you'll, you'll connect in. It'll automatically take a picture of what's inside here. Of course, I've already got a piece of wood in here. Um, we're gonna do some test, test samples of just different things, logos. Um, need to do some more reading and if you guys know as far as the laser uh, I'm assuming that that's what's going to auto measure the material uh, but I also noticed that it seems to be you can see it on this it seems to be right in the center of the work grid that's in here so I'm thinking it's also dead center um, as well so when you put your material in here you might be able to use it to kind of guess where dead center of this piece of material, whatever you're laying in here, um, you know, give you true center, hopefully. Coming back over here to the the software, you can kind of see it, uh, how it's laid out. Like I said, it's just on a beta stage. Um, it reminds me kind of of the Cricut um, software. Not exactly, but it's sort of similar, the same layout. So if you wanted to upload an image, you would go to, uh, let me go into this, this settings. This is how you change it from inches to millimeter and of course your language. Um, so, and then of course, if you have any updates. But you come over here to file and you want to open. So I already had a project, so I just want me to save it. So what I've done is I've came over here um, and actually went to import 
opened it up, found the picture that I was looking for, um, which I went with my business logo here. And so really what I want to show you is, so when you take your logo and you've got this grid around it, these, um, these little squares and then this green line, um, trying to line it up with the grid pattern that's actually showed on the software, I want to see how close, you know, it, it's going to, you know, be. Let's, I'm going to put it, let's see, let's put it right here at the bottom of this line. And then, of course, engrave it and just see how close um, the camera is going to get it by just using this and not going over here. Um, there's another way you can do this, and you can what they call framing and you can kind of see where when it's in the framing mode the laser comes out and it kind of gives you a, a grid area area where it's going to actually engrave at but we're not going to use it um, we're just going to go with it and just see what happens and how close it is to our marks on here We'll let this engrave and we'll come back. Also, I want to show you that minimize this. So my settings are, you know, I picked the, the basswood, um, just a piece that came with it. And of course it automatically will go ahead and go into the, the proper settings for it and the thickness. Um, and also it will automatically do the power, the speed, and how many passes it needs to um, go through with it. Now, if you want to alter these or, you know, do your own settings, then you would press this and then select your material. Um, you could do the autofocus at that point and, and select how thick or put it in manually. And then if you're gonna raise, uh, have a raised bed. Um, and then, you know, your power settings, speed, and then how many passes you want to go through. and then. Of course, it tells you about how long it's going to take down here on this um, on this little bar. But if you want to bring up that screen that I got rid of a while ago, you just click on this, and it'll actually bring it up. And then this is actually showing you the process of where um, the engraving's at at this time. And of course, just to cancel it, or if you want to stop it in case something happens, uh, either lift the lid, press this button, or just completely cut it off. Um, you can also have a you know a pause button here as well on the system. And I found that if you hit pause and you come back, it starts right back off where you left at and uh, doesn't doesn't mess up. All right, so we got done. Let me kind of show you the end result. So if you remember how I set that grid line system up on here, we got it fairly close um, to where I had put it on the computer compared to where it's at in the machine. But you can also kind of see um, some of the detail. So. so coming back over here, of course it's going to give you a complete sign telling you that hey. Um, and that's where it's at so if you look at that let me come over here and look at this it's fairly accurate it might be a little bit lower you know just looking at this distance from here to here it might be just a, a tad bit lower 16th of an inch compared to what's on here but fairly close so we're going to do this logo again. Um, we're going to kind of move it. Let's kind of go right here next to this line and then up here on the same line that we went with the first time. Let's slide it over right, right in there. Um, the 
this time we will we're going to change the settings um, to this let's go over here and do the define perimeters and so we'll take our power which was about a, a 70 last time so let's go and do uh, let's just say we'll, we'll do like I don't know, 33 percent and then our speed um, let's let's go a little faster this time and just see what happens we'll go seven it was about six last time we'll do one pass um, let's see here I'm gonna leave that the same and let's go down here to start let me just show you the framing real quick um, we'll hit click framing and you can kind of see so we did put it beside it should give us an indicator of where about it's going to put it at next to this other logo. It's really hard to see, but it does shoot out a green laser and kind of gives you a square indicator of where they're going to put the next logo. So we know that it is off to the right hand side. We'll go right back over here. Hit start. Path preview is just going to show you how it's going to um, engrave the the image. So on this one, it kind of starts up here and then it works its way down. Um, some of them they do start off in different positions, um, but for the most part, they start from top to bottom. So we'll engrave it. We'll go at these settings and see what the difference is. So we'll let this run for just a second and we'll come right back. So it's about to finish up. Right away you can tell that it is definitely lighter. How well the camera's gonna pick it up, but that's at 70% power. And I believe we set this other one at it's, yeah, 33%, almost the same speed. This one was a little bit faster. So you can tell that this one definitely has a little bit more detail than this one. I'd say that the spacing is correct, that shown on the computer is pretty close. All right, so for this time, instead of engraving, we're gonna come over here and hit the X tool select reference, put it back on the standard settings. Um, instead of, in, let's see here, if we can do this. Uh, actually, let's, let's just pick a different, let's just pick a different image here. this real quick and let's just go get a shape uh, we'll just pick up let's pick the star I'll just line it kind of up underneath this one right here Once you, want, once you have one kind of outline like this, it'll give you the options to score it, engrave it, or cut it. Um, this time, let's score it. And we'll go with the standard settings that it offers. So power at 100, and then the speed is going to be 0.787. So it should just give us a, an outline just like this. Come down here to start. We won't worry about framing, but I'm just going to show you the path um, preview real quick. And so this is how it should score it. So it's pretty quick. Let's go ahead and send it. And this, I'll actually show you guys this is how quick this does. Something like this.
compared to where that's at. On here. To that logo. So here. Hit confirm. So after I got done scoring the uh, the last image of the star, went ahead and turned the machine off. Um, it is quite noisy. Um, there's another fan that does run in there. Um, I'm, I'm guessing to keep some of the other components cooled off. Um, so this the little device right here, of course, goes up in uh, right next to the laser, and it's used for you know cutting vinyl and other materials. But what I found, and like I had this knife in here, and I was trying to put you know this logo on here. What was happening is when it would come over here and try to read or try to uh, you know etch on the knife, this also drops down when it starts trying to. Um, etch and it was actually pushing the knife out of the way so if you do have thicker stuff such as this or something else you can actually take this out um, and then it will give you a little bit more clearance and I just I needed just enough for it to just pass over and come over here and start on this knife blade but we'll do a different video on the metal um, it is very time consuming especially stainless steel uh, but we'll go into a different video with it Overall, I'm having a lot of fun with the machine, learning a lot with it. Um, there is a, you know, of course, a learning curve with this, especially if you've never, you know, messed with a uh, laser engraver. Uh, it is for me, but I tell you what's been helpful is a lot of the, you know, the Facebook groups that are out there. Uh, a lot of people do reach out, and you know, you send out a question. Usually, you're going to get a response pretty quick, and on how to, you know, um, set something up or settings or. You know just maybe some troubleshooting but hey if you guys like this video if it was beneficial uh, if you learned anything hey hit that thumbs up for me if there's something you didn't like about it uh, let me know in the comments or if you have any questions about anything maybe i didn't explain very well um, I know this is a long video i tried to go in as you know as much detail as possible uh, but just let me know and also if you haven't subscribed and subscribe and help the channel out uh, i plan on doing more videos more in-depth stuff uh, but until next time, we'll see you later.